Last week, TVA made a big decision to transition the Cumberland Fossil Plant, which burns coal to make electricity, into a natural gas plant. It'll take five years to complete. But to make that happen, all the fuel has to get to the area somehow. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how it's causing controversy. I say we have a good neighborhood, we have good neighbors. In this stretch of Dixon County, neighbors don't just know each other, they spend a lot of time together, too. But if you need them, they're, they're there. there. Yeah. yeah. To me, that's a good neighbor. But Dorothy Corlew isn't exactly welcoming their newest but addition. I, I don't know. I, I, just, I just get really upset about it. Because of what it could do to her family's Century Farm. And it will go all the way through my property. Energy company Kinder Morgan wants to build a 32 mile long, 30 inch wide natural gas pipeline that goes all the way to Cumberland City. Where over the next five years, TVA will transition from coal power to natural gas. We've lived here uh, about seven or eight years. Dorothy's neighbor says beyond living close to it. Showed where the pipeline was gonna come through, right over here. And our house in our area is within the explosion zone. He thinks the path they chose could be dangerous. To me, it doesn't make sense to put a gas line underneath the high tension line, scaring a lot of electricity. And when these neighbors say they have safety concerns, it's because they've seen it with their own eyes. We looked out our front window and we could see the blaze and the smoke. Richard Honeycutt remembers March 16, 1992 better than most. We couldn't get within a half mile of it because it was so large. He was one of many local firefighters battling a 400 acre inferno sparked by a natural gas pipeline explosion. We lost a lot of houses. We could never even put water on because we couldn't get close enough to them. The company that operated the line at the time, Tenneco, has since been acquired by Kinder Morgan the group behind the latest expansion. I don't want to move, but I'm scared to live here with the pipeline. Which is why these neighbors may spend even more time together figuring out a way to keep the pipeline out. I just don't think it makes sense. It doesn't seem to be safe, doesn't seem to be well thought out. In Dixon County, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Thank you, Chris. Kinder Morgan hopes to start construction on the pipeline in 2024, have it operational by 2025. We have more information about some community organized meetings on this project on newschannel5.com.